Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. A beautiful fire there growing, going there, transmuting energy, setting me up for um, this message that we are giving today live. Thank you for being here. Well, let's, uh, hi, hello, Molly. Let's wait and see uh, who else will be joining us today. Invite whoever you can. And um, so let's just give everyone a couple a couple minutes. Thank you everyone for being here. What a blessing. And I'm just going to invite here, just down the line, invite a bunch of people. And then we'll get started, probably in the next minute or so. Uh, such a beautiful day today. Beautiful, beautiful, feeling um, very empowered. It's an empowering day. We've, we've been through a lot recently energetically. So just inviting some people here and then we'll, we'll get going. We have about three viewing right now, so we'll wait a couple more minutes. Thank you for being here. And the fire is done. <laughs> Okay, so um, how are you all doing? Thank you for being here. Looks like uh, there's, we have uh, five now joining slowly. Here we go. Uh, such a beautiful day today. I, I don't know if you all are feeling it, but it feels very different, um, every, especially after, let's see, so what are we on? Today is the, the 15, I, and especially after the, after the 13 and the 14, I'm still uh, feeling a little tired. On the 14, we, we did a lot, uh, but today it's, it's, it's almost like um, our spirits. If you're tuning into that and you're releasing um, what no longer serves you and you're going within your heart space, hello, hello everyone, um, you are finding yourself, finding that flame within your heart and you're seeing, you're helping it ignite. So that's really the flow of the energy that's coming forth, especially from um, the, the sun and the solar flares. And it really depends on what we want to do with it. Are we going to, um, you know, not believe in ourselves, uh, put up those walls with the mistrust and what we've been, you, you know, brainwashed or, or told throughout our lives that we are this and we are that and we are limited here and there. So it really just depends on what type of a day you want to bring forth what do you wake up as you um take a breath and at the minute you take a breath you take a breath and you're like thank you i am here once more in gratitude do you start off with that frequency of gratitude and love so um all right we have a good amount so far six joining right now live beautiful seven now and i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the messages so that's basically how i wake up every day i set up uh, everything is intent and creation how is it that you are what frequency what vibration are you attracting okay so the minute you woke up and you did this and you set a, this intention you are bringing forth and creating that day for you now of course there's you know we can't be perfect and there's going to be days again that are going to be off whenever they need to be but lots of energy coming forth right now um great the way that they're showing me so typically i wouldn't normally be able to share messages uh, with you all just because the timeline wasn't there in the positivity of it but what they're telling me now is that we've entered a positive timeline a more organic timeline where really uh, there's so much there's so many potentials and the only obstacle that the only wall that is there is our own our own selves our own walls our own um, you know distractions that we allow upon our lives so this is what we are entering and they are showing me this these portals so the so the connections if you remember uh last time we talked about um hello uh katrina from ireland <laughs> and we talked about the different uh us okay so if you could envision it's it's hard to explain in the in our human consciousness okay but um the easiest way i could explain to you all is Okay, so um, the flower of life. See this flower of life? 
Okay. Now, the beginning. So what happens is when you have a flower of life, one, we don't realize this actually, the flower of life is, is connected to the crown chakra and it is integrated into the to your DNA strands. Your, um, it, this symbol is there and it brings forth our consciousness, our uh, universal consciousness, okay? Hello everyone. And if you start specifically using, because what it is, is this, it, this is a sacred alchemy symbol. And if you start using this within your crown chakra, your crown chakra, you are opening up a gateway of um, energetic, connection to your higher self and you're creating basically a bridge to your higher self okay now um the reason why i'm sharing this with you all is because this is a time that you want to be imagining per what you want to be imagining is the flower of life on top of your crown and glowing so it, pretty much you imagine it there it kind of locks into place and it glows and it emanates light and when you do that it you envision it like a strand that is an infinity of a flower of life and then it connects to um the higher realms and that's your bridge right there that's your higher self bridge not only are you surrounding yourself with love light how we always teach the angelics we teach that as the elohim but you're also connecting that bridge daily as as you wake so these are different methods as an alchemist as a energetic um you know quantum alchemist spiritual alchemist um how every life I have brought forth this information as um, carrying a strong um, divine mother's energies as many of us, uh, the majority of us, divine feminine carry this beautiful divine mother energies. You know, we are the carriers of these essences and these fractals of the divine mothers. Um, but again, you know, we've been disconnected from that. Now, the truth is, is that we, we are all goddesses, you know, um, I don't like the word goddesses, well, more like priestesses, there we go, um, because we are all equal, so we are all priestesses, when we were born, the majority of us have been born in times where we were, you know, we were um, segregated, um, held back, uh, you know, unfortunately, violent you know there was violence there and all these different things so really uh putting down of the divine feminine okay now um i have been talking to my guides and they had been wanting me to basically start sharing more with you all so if you all notice i had that live video recently and um they said i didn't want to do the patreon thing i just um you know i love my website and i love the information the services that I offer there, like I offer, you know, the quantum healing alchemy, uh, the aura, angelic universal regression alchemy, which, you know, we've seen that has been influential there. We really have passed boundaries that were there, but that they were said to, to be there, but we, you know, we are connecting to collectives of energies of, uh, entities. And then we're also really just pushing the boundaries as far as helping the client really heal themselves when they have say too many blockages or they can't, they're not quite ready to be there themselves. So we really have, um, created a nice system of free flow energy there. And it is truly working through through sacred alchemy and energy is what we're doing. Now, um, we also have, I also have Akashic readings and I also do the guided meditation for the children every, um, the first and the third of every Sunday. And, and um, yes, and then we are certifying aura practitioners. So I, I'm very, I was, I was very happy with what I have going on, but they really, really have been pushing me at least for the last month. They're like, they really want me to set up a Patreon. And I don't like to do that personally because I just feel like, ah, uh, uh, <laughs> I like to earn, I kind of like, I like to, um, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, they basically showed me uh recently in a dream where this is a time if i'm going to go ahead and start set up a, a patreon if and and they're looking for uh light workers who are um leading with their hearts this is the time we're no longer they're pushing us from uh, being just sharing knowledge and knowledge but we forget that the gateway to the new earth and through to the ascension to the harvest is actually through the heart 
So not too many light workers um, specifically talk about that gateway of the heart and how it is that you're able to portal through there, even on a daily basis. Um, so what I share with you as far, as far as the flower of life is a sacred alchemy. We we uh, were taught back then in Egypt, in Atlantis, in Lumerian times. We knew these different basics that we have forgotten now that have been erased from time. Um, so that we wouldn't know how to connect to ourselves. Okay, But um, the time is now. They said I um, am to be doing Patreon. And... Uh, with the Patreon, it's very excited because I'm going to be offering different classes. I'm going to be, um, I'm looking, I'm setting it up right now. So be looking at it. I'm going to be working on it uh, this this weekend. But how to connect you as a priestess, as the, the beautiful divine feminine or masculine that you are. Um, how to connect you to the old ways, to the ancient ways. And bringing forth that confidence for us. Uh, that sovereignty for us that we've forgotten about. And really starting from basics, how to build you up to being able to, con to channel yourself. Because first it, it starts with channeling yourself, channeling your own higher self. And how do you get there? How do you build yourself? And as you all know, um, the majority of you all know me, I work, um, you know, uh, um, my higher self is Archangel Aura, which is uh, works with the Phoenix energy as the Phoenix, and we help um, you know many activate this within themselves, and we empower others by transmutation that we are beautiful beings that can do anything. Too often we look at others and we compare ourselves to them. Oh, you know, I don't think I can do that. How is it that they do this? You know, this is again, the, the, the system that has been created within your mind that has been put forth. Now, <clears throat> we are here basically to remind you and they're really pushing, uh, they're really beautifully, gently pushing me. Okay. Or uh, no, this is, this is the time. So yes. So, um, keep an eye out for my Patreon. It's very exciting. Um, you're, you're going to be able to, there's been people who have, who've been wanting to be basically, uh, aura practitioners, but they don't necessarily have the amount, the, the big portion of them, of the amount. So on there, I'm going to basically create where, okay, uh, plans like, okay, be a Patreon for, uh, three, four months or five months. And, um, you can you can go ahead and once you complete that and we can go ahead and start certifying you, you know, there's going to be different options on there as well as, um, I'm going to be now hosting classes on there on how to channel yourself again, and then really using sacred alchemy. So I'm going to be teaching you how to you find this alchemy within yourself and how to use it in your daily basis and how to create in, in, uh, how, how for you to create in a balanced manner where um, you are finding your own um, energy life force that's in, infinite really within your heart. Um, so there, there's many different things that I'll be teaching on there. I'm just coming up with the, with the classes right now and I'll, again, I'll be working on it all weekend if, in case you're coming in late. Or even, um, so basically mm -hmm. it's going to be, there's going to be a priestess program, there's going to be channeling classes, classes with alchemy, and then as well as working with your third eye. How do you um, work with it? How do you expand it? How, t how do you travel? How do you travel? So right now what they're showing me is within um, my third eye is how we're able to travel to those other dimensions that I had talked about in the other video where um, we are having, we are aligned and we can basically just tap into one another to our uh, easiest way, double gangers, but our fractals of us um, that are in these different, different realities that are existing um, just as equally with you that, but that are different in a sense, that have um, different wisdom and knowledge for you. So for example, I recently met a, um, a, okay, a me in another reality and she was, and this is kind of, kind of fine, um, the easiest way you could put it is kind of like, okay, so what they're saying is that this timeline here is very important to maintain it positive because what happens is that if we are a ripple, so then there's another ripple and another ripple and another ripple of a timeline and we affect one another, okay? 
Now, um, something that they've always uh, said is it's very important that um, you know, as a as spiritual workers, as light workers, is that you all maintain this this timeline positive and and organically. Okay. Now, um, it's so hard to explain, but basically, um, um, if you were to if you see this circle here, right? So what they explain this is this is the us here. Okay. Um, where you could say uh, the this this circle here in the middle is uh, where the the creator, the divine mother uh, specifically uh, brought forth uh, her creation upon, and then from there it became fractals and fractals and fractals and fractals, right? All those circles. So they say that we coexist in this in this earth reality. We are here in this circle here, okay? And then. There is another reality here, another reality here, another reality here. So we've been connecting, as you know, we, we um, work with the 13th number, the, the 13 keys that um, are connected to the chakras and uh, universal webbing of really the omni-universe to maintain in a balance. Now, what they're explaining is that right now you are able to, if you just so believe it, all you have to do is believe it, connect to those different news. And we are uh, specifically, I, I've been working with a um, other me in a sense, but there's more details to that, um, that is on the 13th earth. So there's different earths, you can call them, you know, you could call them different numbers and so on, but we are all operating together, affecting each other. And um, how beautiful would it be for you to talk to your you in a different dimension? And, uh, or even, you know, during dream time, connect through the heart space, get wisdom um, through, through them. How cool would that be? <laughs> you know, who to trust better but, but you? But yeah, that's what I always teach, you know. Uh, so just a little bit here, and I'm, I'm going to finish it up. But um, this is what's going on right now. You, you, we've gone through... Um, the time frame where we needed to clear away. There's some, you know, there's something going on in the sun right now. If you look at the sky, the sky is a different color. Okay, if you if you all remember, the sky first of all was light blue when we were young. Now it's 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 covered. In, it's it's blue. It's it's a bright, beautiful blue. It's never been this vi vibrant. And that video that I recently shared with you all that you know the it was pink outside. And really connecting to the different energies in that sense. Okay, um, we are distracted all day long. We, we're distracted with our phones, distracted with uh, our TVs, distracted with different things. Now, there's so many, again, hours in the day that we could be working within ourselves and expanding ourselves. Again, we are our only limitations to ourselves. Okay, so that's why I'm here for. I'm here to to support you and to remind you of who you truly are and connect you to your heart. That is your the root of your soul. The, your soul is in there. Let's connect you to your heart, and the, there's going to be basically different classes to help you connect to that. Okay, so um, if you are are new to spirituality, um, I wanted to read something here because. Truly, we are our bodies, ourselves, we are made to self heal. Okay, now with this, once you join uh, the Patreon, there's there's going to be certain videos that I'll be recording as well daily that um, I that will be exclusive for the Patreon. So it will be uh, either daily or every couple days, um, daily or weekly, depending on what comes forth, because the way I work is, is basically, I just allow for the information to come forth, and whenever they're meant to be shared in a specific date, um, they will be shared, okay? Um, so thank you for listening to this video, and I'm going to just uh, read something out here, and then um, I'll see what else they want to say after that, and we'll go ahead and finish up. But yeah, this is video is pretty much... Um, reminding you of your potentials and what you could be doing today uh i don't know how, i don't know how you are feeling but i'm feeling really fierce like i could like um <laughs> i could do anything today that that's that energy and all you have to do is lift your frequency to catch on to that wave and that wave is rise that wave is um riding it's it, you can ride it that wave is uh pushing through beautifully from the solar flares from the sun there is uh energy coming forth 
that is coming onto earth right now and you're feeling it you know those of you who um who are not ready you might or or not ready well maybe um not ready in your timeline but um those of you who are need clearing you'll feel it strongly like you'll feel release and so on but uh, and then those of you who have passed through the release and passed through the forgiveness and letting go of hatred and jealousy and envy who you've gone through these stages already and you've accepted all that has occurred to you in your life and, and have viewed everything as lessons that needed to occur those of you who have gone through this phase um, are able to ride through that wave and really enhance the, there's doorways, just like we talked about last time, there's doorway, doorways opening up everywhere and you have to step through those. So that's why, um, you know, the Elohim would like for me to speak to you and teach you all from, from here on. Um, again, if you join the Patreon, but I'll still be uh, doing like usual, I'll be posting my um quantum healings my auras on youtube and still recording my videos um, but this would be kind of exclusive things for if you become a patreon uh, member which would be you know at a, at a low cost or if you want to get again certified if you want to be a certified or a practitioner there'll be payment plans there that you can become this this could be attainable for you instead of just you know paying the whole okay um, but yeah, so here's a little message um, that I wrote really in my website. Okay, so we live in a world where we have been taught since birth that we are limited, that there is nothing beyond death or only heaven or hell, that our imagination is not real, kept distracted by our, by our daily monotonous routines in a world where if we get ill, we might not ever find a cure for for it or we will have to be on an ongoing cycle of prescription drugs or surgeries have you ever felt deep within your soul that this just does not feel right discover the world of who you truly are and who you have been in past or future lives the world of quantum healing through past life regression where you have been a queen king an animal a person in history life in egypt atlantis different planet a different being the majority of people have lived hundreds or thousands of lives at different times upon earth or other realities this is the truth we have you why have you chosen to be born here on this planet with this family what is your life's purpose at crossroads what should you do next in your life discover the answer straight from the connection of your soul disease or illness stem forth from energetic imbalances in the human body through our emotions vibrations karmic energy chakra points your body is made to be able to self-heal and will try to talk to you through certain aches discomforts or illness we have found that at times we can carry over allergies illness birthmarks from past lives for example if you died of a gunshot to the heart and now you have heart problems that's being carried over that energy might be carried over to the current life needing to be quantum karmically healed we have also discovered that chemicals within our body our water our air our intake our intakes are root causes to illness Enter the theta brainwave of hypnosis safely to bring forth memories of your existence. Quantum heal your body. Find your life purpose. Answers you seek to speak to your soul. Your higher self. Who is you? The higher self over soul who is one with the creator who knows all. As a spiritual worker of the heart in service to others, I offer different types of modalities and I go into that which we already talked about. But... Um, I love this message because it's truly empowering and it's, it's helping you go beyond the box and helping you look back. Now, the majority of you guys are awakened. So that's messages for uh, those uh, people who have just basically are just listening to this live and are just discovering hmm, there is there might be something beyond what I've been told and shown all my life. Now, that's my goal as a spiritual healer to work from the heart to help you connect to your heart. Um, to help you to connect to the infinite being that you are. Okay, so uh, take care of yourself. Go out there, create, and take take a lot of time. You know, I, I tell people, as you're washing dishes, as you're doing laundry, silence your mind instead of thinking of things. Oh, I got to do this later, and um, tomorrow I have to go to work, and I have to do this. And those are, again, just distractions. Silence your mind and speak telepathically back and forth back and forth within your own soul speak to that voice that voice speak to yourself 
I always tell people, speak to yourself, uh, talk to yourself. That is okay. It's awesome when you talk to yourself because that person that you're speaking to is the you, the you that's been guiding you all your life from the very beginning, ensuring that uh, to guide you to the highest path of you and that little voice that you perhaps didn't listen to and got you into trouble, you know? So listen to that you, talk to them telepathically, and understand too that when they talk to you telepathically, they're using your tone, your voice, your frequency to speak to you because they exist in a, in a higher frequency, okay? So they're using your own um, thought form and you're not gonna hear like a, you know, beautiful angelic voice, like, you know, with music in the background, like, ah! you know, you're not gonna hear that. You're going, you're going to hear your own voice talking and you're going to dialogue with it. And every time, every time it tries to basically go that, um, you, you go in your mind too much and you you're like oh i'm you know that's the i'm making this up uh you know i am this is not real or you know you you, you question yourself and you make fun of yourself um oh i just realized my shirt was really low oh my goodness how long was that low <laughs> yeah um so every time it goes goes um down i mean it goes to the mind too much remember that connection to the heart and through the alchemy classes that i'll be offering on my patreon i will teach you how to use sacred alchemy through again channeling through um through the different classes through uh the list that i had talked about earlier and if you're just joining us basically i'll be offering on patreon a priestess, a priestess program because we have forgotten as priestesses many of us have you know been priestesses we've forgotten the basics the basics and then growing from that so i'll be teaching you from the very beginning um how was it that we learned back then in egypt in um, lumeria in atlantis how was it that we telepathically read each other's minds? You know, there's actual sacred alchemy symbols that we could be using and connecting to others. Um, how is it that you understand it? And, but yeah, every time you go too much in your mind and you're being too critical and you're not trusting you drop down to your heart, you're connecting a bridge again, a bridge, like I spoke of the flower of life and how you're connecting that bridge to the higher self. But yes, uh, much wisdom to share. Right now, we've entered a timeline where I'm, I am able to share this uh, beautiful information. In the past, I couldn't share it. I couldn't share, um, you know, to maintain the positivity of this timeline. But now we've entered it. So let's go forth. I am excited. They uh, showed me the potential of these classes. And it's going to be a ripple, a huge ripple effect upon the collective consciousness. Because I, I work from the heart space. This is the time you all who work from the heart or even you all who want to connect more to your heart who who want to be there within that frequency of love come talk to me we'll help you um you know get get there okay so i'll be working on that all weekend and then part some of the videos that i'll be doing too there'll be just like regular updates like today talking about what's going on and um, energetically what to uh, look for, what to try to uh, change of it, how to, what to transmute of it, and um, let's use this symbol, let's use uh, this energy frequency, let's transmute this in this manner. So there's going to be a lot more guidance from me um, through the Patreon. So I'm very excited about that, and thank you, thank you, thank you. There's also going to be, um, like, workshops that i'm going to set up where um like kind of like group readings where we can all talk amongst each other and you all can just ask me whatever you want and and you know i will answer it so it's very exciting things coming up so i thank you for your support i thank you for your love uh i send you and send you my love greatly as always um i know that you all feel it deep within your heart and i thank you for following your heart to me for I think all oh, really the, the Elohim, the Galactics, the entirety of all the races, the raw collective for guiding you here as you are my soul family and this is why you're here. And remember that I am here to teach you that you have these potentials and that you can channel and that you can be a uh, you know psychic reader and you can energetically heal others. You can do these things too. We, I am here to awaken and to empower those star seeds that have forgotten themselves 
and to help them regain their soul's blueprints within their within their beautiful um, spine, the energy that comes from, from the spine where our soul's blueprints lies. This is what I'm here for. So thank you. Um, I love you all. May you all have a beautiful Saturday. Go out there and create and have fun. Enjoy your families. Uh, take time to yourself within your mind, within your heart, whenever you can. I love you all. Thank you for being here again. Blessings. Mwah. And check out my uh, Patreon. I'll be working again uh, on it all weekend. And then hopefully by next week, either Monday, Tuesday, it'll be ready to go, even maybe late Sunday. And then I'll share it here um, in my profile as well as in my Rising Phoenix Angels group, our Rising Phoenix Angels group um, on Facebook, our spiritual group there, and as well as on my page. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, check out my website as well. And, um, you know, I, also, I'm very excited. I'll be sharing some stories that I can't normally share. And it will be exclusive for you all, like uh, some, some background stories to some of the information that I get. Like, if you all watched that recent uh, video where I did a... I did a aura session on a client, a quantum alchemy session. Um, quantum hypnosis alchemy session where the client basically took us back to when um, the reptilians uh, entered onto earth and then we, I basically shared you know how I found how I you know came across um, unfortunately some of them at the doctor's office so I'm going to be sharing those kind of videos that I normally can't share but I'll be sharing them with you all on the Patreon and um, some more backgrounds to different things of the information that I receive, okay? All right, well, thank you so much. I love you all so much. Mwah. Blessings. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.